Hey shy people what is your worst experience? My husband got me to go to a party with him at our friend's house. Got there. Friend hugged me hello. And then said wow you smell really good. And then I swear to god everyone got up. And went I want to smell. And I was surrounded by people sniffing me seconds. After walking into a party. I wanted to die. It wasn't even perfume or anything it was my hair oil. If I could afford therapy this would definitely come up. Okay everyone, before we begin why don't we go around the room and tell us a little about yourselves. I don't talk much in class, and I interact with only a few people. Some of my classmates just thought I hate them, and cropped me out of their EOY class photos which they then posted on IG. I don't really care about their posts, I just felt really hurt they cropped me out. I went to this summer camp at a history museum around 4th grade. The second day they sprung on us that we would have to create a short play about a notable figure of our choice. I'm already terrified, and I make it worse by choosing to do my non kalun The dude who invented paper, the play ended up being a 30 second monologue that was basically a condensed biography with me wearing these musty silk robes. After I slunk back to my seat, I realized that everyone else did like actual plays with dialogue and plots and stuff. So embarrassing. Sat at the back of the class in Spanish, when the teacher from the front asks a question. Being the little nerd I was in school my hand shot up. The teacher then looked over, pointed directly at me and said see, si, senorita, I was a very feminine, underdeveloped and late through puberty 15 year old boy with longer than usual hair. I stopped answering any teacher's questions willingly from that point. I was very small for my age and had a similar experience in 5th grade. I liked having long hair and it grew in big golden ringlets that hung down to my shoulders. All the moms thought I was adorable and couldn't keep their hands off. There would always be at least one wanting to touch my hair. They'd run their fingers through it and say look at those curls or look how they shine in the sun or the girls must be so jealous and so on. I just wanted to be left alone, but they couldn't help themselves. Apparently, it was very annoying. The worst though was the day we had a guest speaker who wanted to interact with the students. So he started off by asking questions. I put my hand up along with some other kids and the man said yes, in the front. The pretty little girl with the yellow curls. Everyone laughed and I had to start my answer with first. I'm a boy. Had a high school buddy who was sworn to silence to most people even teachers. Yet a select few kids he'd talk to. Funniest guy I've ever met. Said he's gone full years without saying a word to his own teachers. Edit wow thanks for the upvotes and responses. I didn't think this would get attention. We would get on bucks and play with him. And he'd be the loudest and smack talk everyone. Really cool guy wish I kept in touch. We had this kid in my high school. Too. I had him in a lot of my classes, and no teacher was ever able to get a single word out of him the entire four years, including an extremely persistent Cubano Spanish teacher who made it a life's goal to get this kid to speak. One day in senior year, one of our teachers with a dark sense of humor is king around and poses a dead baby joke to class, how many dead babies does it take to fill up a bathtub, the silent kid, whom none of us had ever heard utter a damn word for nearly four years. Answers without pause 7. We all. Ducking. Died. Entering a new place for the first time. Be it a shop or a bar or a restaurant. I'm always play the gentleman and hold the door open for my partner so she can assess the area before I sheepishly shuffle in behind. Putting a year's worth of confidence into a job interview. Just to be the quiet one after you get the job. The anxiety dude. It's always frustrating as heck. Your first few weeks, while getting comfortable with everyone you just keep asking yourself, if I could interview so well, why the heck is it taking so long to be able to talk with my coworkers? And it gets worse, if when you work in a small team with long shifts, and not much to do during down times, like being a barrister. While going to college I interned for the state's largest business development corporation. In a meeting with C-suite executives the top dog was just making friendly conversation before we got started and asked me what classes I was taking. To set the picture, 
I'm just a peon note taker, and would never expect anyone to even notice that I was there, let alone put me on the spot with a long table of successful professionals staring at me. I blacked out. Zero brain function. I mumbled a few inaudible grunts and ums before having no choice but to admit that I couldn't remember. Oh my dog. I wanted to die. The looks of confusion and the awkward century that it took to switch topics amongst themselves still haunts me before bed. That is profound. Went to a party. Guy I've never met walks up to me, shakes my hand, and says hello. What's your name? Where were you born? Where will you die? What's in between? Not letting go of my hand the whole time. I completely locked up. Had no idea what to say. Oh. Um. Okay. My name's John. I was born in Milwaukee. Judging by this conversation I'm probably going to die at this party and the in-between will be you murdering me. Nice to meet you. Edit haha. That's not my real name and I'm not from Milwaukee. But thanks for all the awards. Nice to wear meet you. John. I was in elementary and took a bus home each day. I missed my stop and I was so terribly shy and quiet the bus driver didn't hear me. He went on to pick up high school students and didn't notice I was still on the bus. The high school students were so sweet and kind. They alerted the bus driver and he took me home. My mom was freaking out by the time I got home. Happened to me too. Ducking wackiest shit I ever experienced. I expected these older kids to be dick. Then they are the nicest folks ever. Edit this comment on an Ask Reddit got more upvotes than I've ever received given combined. Mandatory speech class when I was a freshman in college. I'd do the thing. Then go back to my dorm and throw up. Really freaked out my room at who I barely spoke to. Five speeches that semester. It was a nightmare. I really ducking hate public speaking with a passion. For my speaking exam in year 10th I was allowed to do it with just the teacher and a couple friends of my choice to be the audience. Then in year 11th we was told they lost our results, so we had to do it again. I cried in class, but was too shy to tell anyone why. Had to do it in front of the whole class, but was allowed to just stand at my desk. Didn't help much, and I still hate it. I'm a bit shy when first meeting people so, after getting to know me, I often hear, when I first met you, I thought you were such a bitch. Cool. I get told that I seem intimidating which I always find bizarre. When you don't talk they don't know about you what you like to do, where you're from, etc. So you become an unapproachable unknown. As someone who gets called intimidating a lot. This is enlightening. Thank you. I was in a group therapy session as a kid like maybe 14. I really had to go to the bathroom, but we weren't allowed to during the session. I was sorta of pulled up in the center of the room. Not like emotional or anything just sitting comfortably hugging my knees cause all the spots on the couch were taken. Some girl had just finished telling a story of her abuse. She was crying, and there was no other sound. Was sort of that awkward, but respectful silence that fills the space when you wanna be supportive, but saying anything at all would somehow seem inconsiderate. It was into this yawning void that I farted. I knew it was coming. I'd been staving off the gurgling in my stomach for some time now. It broken into a sweat already with the sheer effort of will to delay the inevitable. It was no use. I tried to discreetly shift my weight and maybe muffle the sound. I failed. This was neither silent nor deadly. It effortless shattered the silence like Sledgehammer versus a Christmas ornament. Another moment of silence swallowed the sound, but it was a void of disbelief. Then some kid yelled as loud as they could. Jen farted. And the entire room collapsed into helpless laughter while I promptly turned to stone and died on the spot. Hopefully it gave the crying girl a giggle too. It actually did. It's pretty hard not to give in to the absurdity of the moment. You know if you're not the one who farted anyways. Imagine bravely sharing your story of abuse and someone farts lol. I mean I resolutely tried to defeat the beast within, but I'm only a mere mortal. Part of me thinks she was probably grateful for the distraction honestly. That silence was probably as awkward for her as it was for us. Going to a crowded party with one friend who really wanted to drag you along but then disappears. Where my damn panic button. Frantic button mashing. Time for the all Irish exit. I did that at a work party once. I made my appearance. Said hi to the appropriate people. 
and then felt kind of uncomfortable for a while. Like not being sure what to do with your hands, but it's your entire person. Fortunately the pack patio area was directly connected to the parking lot, so I was able to disappear when I noticed the opportunity. Next year my wife was around, so I had her as my social fall back in between interactions. Had a much better time. In my high school Spanish class, some kid screamed, do you ever talk at me in front of the entire class? Super embarrassing at the time, but hilarious to look back on. Edit for those curious. I said nothing in response. If only I could go back in time. Had a similar incident in freshman science class in high school. Hardly ever talked, and I guess the teacher somehow got it in her head that I was mute. She came up to me early one morning just before class with a sign language interpreter and asked if I needed participating in class. Looked her dead in the eye and said I can talk she turned about 7 different shades of red before telling the interpreter they wouldn't be needed. Poor soul was. Just trying to help. No good deed goes unpunished. Teacher. Being told to lower your voice and shut up as a child. Then as a teen being told to speak up for myself more and answer when I'm asked something. Then growing up never speaking unless spoken to or in case of emergency. As a shy girl I only talked when my friends did. I also didn't go to my teacher when I accidentally smashed my thumb with a hammer for a class project. Since I was trying my best to be quiet and not disturb anyone. I realized no one noticed I smashed my thumb up. So after recovering from almost fainting at the sight of my blood oozing out, I walked up to the teacher so I wouldn't bother anyone else and asked her if she had a first aid kit. She said of course. Why? Did you hurt yourself? And I just showed her my thumb, dripping with broken skin and said, kinda. She was shocked I hadn't screamed or said anything for a good 10 minutes and immediately set off to get the first aid and help dress my injury. She knew I was quiet and shy, though I think it surprised her to realize to what extent. I figured I needed some help, and I absolutely had to ask. Because my tiny first aid kit was only meant for perpercuts and small scrapes. Long story short I was too shy to draw attention to my pain, and had to gather the courage and breath to ask for assistance. Edit wow. I didn't expect this to get a ton of attention. Thanks everyone. I'm glad many of you found it relatable, and I was able to share something you all understand and sympathize with. I appreciate it. Fellow shy folks. Are you me? I had a similar thing happen at basketball practice where I tripped going to get the ball. Fractured my wrist, but was too shy to tell anyone. So I just kept playing. Then at the end of practice, the coach told me to work on my dribbling because I was only using one hand. When you talk and people say things like oh I didn't know you could talk or this is the first time I hear you talking. In the same vein as this. When I was a shy kid instead of a shy adult I'd spend quite a while in my bedroom in order to get personal space away from my family who are all chatterboxes. Almost every time I finally came out into the family room for a little bit of socializing everyone would always make a huge deal of seeing me. I didn't even know you were here. Wow she's socializing. She's out of her cave. And so many other things always said so derisively. Always made me just want to go back into my room to hide. Starts college doesn't make friends lockdown shit stuck. I was at a friend's house. His parents used to scare me. The dad had a thick Asian accent and due to my nerves. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Didn't realize the dad was full on asking how I was. And I just stood there awkwardly. I thought he was speaking to his son in Cantonese. I still think about this. I never corrected my boss when she mixed up my name on the first day. I had already introduced myself to some people by my real name. The other half of people my boss introduced me to called me another. I felt too shy to correct her in front of the group. It just led to more awkward conversations. As the two names were completely different. My shy buddy hated ordering coffee at the Starbucks in the Barnes & Noble bookstore. They cannot accept your order and take your money. They had about 6 questions they have to ask first. She couldn't stand it. Her ride like a medium coffee. Them. Do you want light roast or dark roast? We don't have medium. We have tall. Okay. Do you need space for cream? What's your name? Are you part of the bookstore club? Are you part of the Starbucks points? 
I'm not sure if I'm remembering it right. But I think at least once she panicked and walked away mid interrogation. My by far worst experience was living Toto with a roommate. I wasn't able to talk to them and I thought they hate me 